Hi, this is Ben Lang from OnlineMarketingConsultant.co.uk In this video I'm going to be showing you how you can manage an online booking system with WordPress. I'm using the WP Booking Calendar plugin on WordPress which can be downloaded at WPBookingCalendar.com So first I'm going to go to the website I installed this plugin onto it's a website I've built and I'm just going to use it as if I was a customer going to book a bungalow so I'm going to click on here and scroll down to the booking calendar and let's just say I want to book a week in August so from Saturday so you just have to uh, click on each box for a full week just tick all of them and so that's them all highlighted. Then the customer would just fill in their name. I'm not going to give that. Just put in a no. And then put in the details. and then click on send and that will come up with a message saying thank you for your online res reservation we will send a confirmation booking as soon as possible and you'll see here this is my email and there is now a email in my inbox and you'll see here this says new reservation I'll click on that and because I'm the owner of this website, um, the emails come to me when someone fills in the booking calendar and books a holiday. I get an email of the reservation that someone's made with the details they've put in, their name, last name, email. So I'll get all that and it says, currently new bookings is waiting for approval please visit the moderation panel here. So you would click here, but I'm just going to go back to the site just now and show you what that will look like. I'll refresh it and show you what it will look like for other customers that come to visit that site. They will be able to see, and I'll go to August again, that someone has uh, reserved these dates. So that's put down as pending. It's not booked yet, so they have a possibility of booking it still, but it's actually reserved by someone else at the moment it'll go red once it's been approved so to approve it just go back to the email click on click here this will take you to WordPress you might have to log in if you're not logged into your site but I'm logged in it'll take you straight to the bookings if it doesn't take you to the bookings you'll see up here it says bookings and that'll take you to here so this is a pending bookings there's only one just now and you can either approve or cancel so for some reason yeah, you can't book anyone on that date because you've promised someone else that that week. Um, you can cancel and give them a reason. So you can type in someone else is using the bungalow this week, something like that. But if you're approving it, you just click on approve, and this should update. So that's updated. Now you'll see this has went blue. So that's it approved. And you'll see, if you scroll down below that calendar, you'll see the approved reservations and the dates here. When you highlight over that, it shows you the date from till when. And if you need to cancel or someone's cancelled their booking, you can cancel it here. You, again, you can add in the reason for the cancellation, but that's fine. I'll show you what it'll look like on the website now so I'll need to refresh that I'll scroll down and go back to August again and now you'll see that the calendar has booked it's all in red no one can click on that now they can click on the green ones because these ones are still free And I'll just show you what the customer will get once your booking's been approved. Once you've approved it, 
the booking calendar plugin sends an email to that person who's reserved or booked the hotel. You get an email, your reservation has been approved and it tells you the details with the dates just to approve it and your customer can print that off from their email. Another way you can add a book into your website is you can do it on your WordPress dashboard. You just need to go to bookings and then click on, you'll see here on the uh, WordPress dashboard, you can click on add booking. So say someone's actually called to book instead of using the online system and you just need to fill in their details. It doesn't matter what I put in here. And then their email, their phone, and then the, the details of the booking. And then you just click on send. And just always leave this ticked because it sends an email notification to the customer about this operation. So once I send that, it will send an email to the customer that you're booking them into the bungalow for this example. So I'll click on that. Sorry, I need to select the dates. So let's just say it was this weekend for two nights. And then click on send. And that's going to send an email to this email. And you'll see again, this is now pending. So you still need to approve it, even though you've added the booking. So now go back to bookings. You can see, you can click on here for bookings, or you can click on the left-hand side. Um, and you'll see there's a one booking you need to approve. Right, that's why there's a one next to booking. And then this is a pending one. Just tick that and click approve. Or I'll actually show you an example of what happens when you cancel. And then just click on cancel. So that has not been approved as you can see here. And that will show the same on the actual website. So now you know how to use the WP Booking Calendar. If you would like more online training videos like this, check out my YouTube channel. It's online SEO marketing, all one word. Or click on subscribe. Thanks for watching.